Uh, hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is rheumatic fever uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos to support this channel and if you need more information you can visit my website uh, the link for the website is just below this video in the description area and uh, uh, the description uh, sorry that uh, uh, subscribe button is also below this video you know so do not forget to subscribe this channel uh, now I come to the topic, uh, what is rheumatic fever? Well, the rheumatic fever is one of the complications associated with the strep throat. You know? And uh, it's a relatively serious illness that can cause stroke, uh, permanent damage to the heart, and uh, even death if it's left untreated. You know? And uh, the condition usually appears in children between the ages of uh, 5 and 15 years, you know and even though the older children and adults uh, have been known to uh, contract the fever as well you know uh, but it's still common in places like uh, uh, sub-saharan africa and uh, south central asia and certain populations in australia and new zealand as well you know and uh, rheumatic fever is caused by group a streptococcus and this bacterium cause uh, strep throat and in a small percentage of people uh, may be scarlet fever and it's an, a, a, like of an inflammatory disorder you know and the rheumatic fever causes your baby to attack its own tissues after it has been infected with the bacteria that uh, causes the strep throat you know and this reaction causes the widespread inflammation throughout the body you know and uh, uh, which is the basis of uh, all of the symptoms of the rheumatic fever you know and uh, uh, you know uh, it's caused by a reaction to the bacteria that causes strep throat uh, group a streptococcus you know and although not all cases of the strep throat result in rheumatic fever but this serious complication may be prevented with the diagnosis and the treatment of the strep throat you know and if your child has any of the symptoms like uh, maybe sore throat or uh, red rash you know sore throat with the tender and swollen leaf nodes or uh, uh, difficulty in swallowing and headache and nausea and uh, vomiting and tonsils with the white patches or the pus you know or the small red spots on the roof of your mouth you know and the temperature which is over than 101 degree fahrenheit and uh, like uh, a bloody discharge from the nose you know uh, you should consult your doctor you know and uh, a wide variety of the symptoms are associated with the rheumatic fever and uh, uh, any individual with the illness uh, could experience few maybe some or most of the symptoms you know and uh, the symptoms usually appear uh, two to four weeks after your child has been diagnosed with the strep throat and the common symptoms uh, the uh, uh, strep throat may include like the uh, chest pain small or the painless nodules or the bumps under your skin you know or maybe fatigue uh, nosebleeds uh, stomach pain and pain in the joints you know and red hot swollen joints vomiting and uh, like jerky or uncontrollable movements in the hands in the feet or maybe on the face you know and uh, poor concentration you know or uh, maybe the outbursts of the crying you know or maybe inappropriate laughter you know so these are the, uh, the signs and the symptoms you know and if your child has a fever uh, they might require immediate care and you should seek the immediate medical care if uh, the temperature is over 100 degree fahrenheit if her temperature uh, uh, is over 102 or higher in babies uh, six weeks to two years old you know or uh, if the temperature of 103 or higher in children aged 2 or older and the fever that lasts more than 3 days in uh, a child of any age you know in that case you should consult your doctor right away without any wasting time you know the next thing is how do doctors diagnose the rheumatic fever you know you know your doctor will first want to get a list of the symptoms you know and uh, then the medical history when did it start or any other findings you know and they will went uh, then uh, would like to know about your child having recent uh, throat infections you know 
and uh, then doctor will perform the physical examination and uh, try to find any clues you know like looking for the rash on the skin or swollen lymph nodes you know or maybe the fever and uh, any kind of skin rashes you know performing the movement test to determine the nervous system dysfunctioning or uh, 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 examining the joints, you know, to see any inflammation or any redness or any hotness, you know, and uh, maybe the ECG, which means that which uh, the, which measure the your heart activity, you know, and performing the uh, electrocardiogram, which uses sound waves to produce the images of your heart, you know, to see the heart health, you know. So these are the useful tests which your doctor will uh, uh, order to make the diagnosis and once diagnosed then uh, the treatment will involve like getting rid of all these uh, uh, residual uh, streptococcus, streptococcus bacteria, you know and uh, uh, treat and controlling the symptoms and uh, this can include like antibiotics maybe anti-inflammatory treatment or anti medication in case of seizures etc you know and uh, bed rest you know and uh, so that's the treatment plan, you know. So, uh, so if you're having any of the symptoms, uh, you should always consult your doctor. And uh, the risk factors, uh, or maybe the family history, uh, uh, type of uh, the step bacteria, uh, environmental factors uh, present in the develop, developing countries such as poor sanitation, or overcrowding or lack of clean water you know these are the risk factors you know and the most effective way to make sure that your child does not develop the rheumatic fever is to uh, treat their step throat function quickly you know and thoroughly and this means that uh, making sure that your child completes the prescribed doses of the medication like antibiotics you know and uh, don't stop the medication once you get better you know so com always complete the course you know which is about uh, or usually seven days, you know. And uh, uh, practicing the proper hygiene methods uh, can also help to prevent the strep throat and eventually the rheumatic fever, you know, like covering mouth when sneezing or coughing, you know, washing your hands before or after the... Um, before, and uh, avoiding the contact with the people who are sick, you know, avoiding the, like, uh, sharing the items with the people who are sick, you know. And once the... Uh, this is about the complications, you know. You know, once the complications uh, develop and the symptoms of the rheumatic fever can last for months, you know. And the rheumatic fever can cause long-term complications in certain situations. And one of the most uh, important complications uh, of the rheumatic fever is heart disease, you know, rheumatic heart disease. And other heart conditions may include like uh, valve stenosis, you know, maybe valve uh, regurgitation or maybe heart muscle damage, uh, heart failure or maybe uh, atrial fibrillation, you know, which means irregular heartbeats, you know, and uh, the heart failure. And uh, but the long-term effects of the rheumatic fever can be disabling if your child has a severe case, you know, and some of the damage caused by the illness might not show up until the years later you know and be aware of the long-term effects as your child grows older you know and the children who suffer from the long-term damage related to the rheumatic fever may be eligible for special education and other or related services you know so always have an eye on your child's health after the recovery and uh, yeah that's it and uh, uh, if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseaseandtreatment.com. Link is just below this video in the web, uh, 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 for the website, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.